Yes. Hello. Sound testing. Oh yes. Okay. Great. So whilst we load up the presentation, I hope that will be the right one. No, that's the last slide. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Very first one. Yes. Okay. So um, welcome and thanks for uh, your patience on watching this presentation in English. Um, I wanted to clarify something, but I think Anton, if I understood well, already um, gave the punchline of my joke, which is I come from Brazil. Because with a name like that, Vladimir Cavalcante, everybody asks me where I come from. So yesterday I took a taxi here in St. Petersburg, and uh, the taxi driver spoke Russian to me, of course. And I said, Nied Kavarit Paruski, or something like that. And he said, What do you mean you don't speak Russian? Your name is Vladimir. Of course you have to speak Russian. No, no. no. So that's the story of my life. Everybody thinks I'm, I, I come from Russia or from Italy because of my surname, Cavalcanti. No, I come from Brazil. I've been working with Atlassian for three years now, and uh, I'm an expert partner manager. Nice word. Just a channel manager. So basically, I take care of our partners, our experts, like Team Lead, who has been with us for a long time. And um, I try to bring the news, the latest news of Atlassian during the events. And what I would like to do today is show you a presentation that we have been talking about lately, in which we put the accent, the stress, on the teams, how teams can work together, how to make these teams be more effective, more productive. I'm also going to, some of you, I believe, were at the last uh, DAD, DAD, in Moscow from Team Lead, and if you remember well, I showed you at that point in time the latest news from our summit event, and there were some nice features that were promised at that point in time, for Confluence in particular. And I'll show you that we have already delivered those. Great, so let's start and see if it works. I think it does. First of all, teams. How teams work together, right? And you may ask, what does Eurovision have to do with that? Well, Paulina Gagarina, by the way, congratulations. You know, that was a great, great achievement in Eurovision, second place. First place would be better, but you know how these things go, right? She did a great job, but was she alone there? Surely not, right? There were people helping her repair her voice, choose the, the right song to, to sing, um, the marketing people to, you know, promote her uh, um, uh, show, um, the sound technician. So it was a teamwork. The same, if we think, if it works, yeah, about this event here. So, it's not just one person that does that, it's a team of people. You saw technicians working on the light, the sound, everything goes together. So, this is what we would like to talk to you about. What, what makes teams successful? Everybody's trying to find, you know, a, a, the right way, the right answer. Some of us think that we should have at least one superhero in the team. Hulk, uh, Thor, or... Iron Man or Superman or whatever. Nah, it doesn't really work like that, does it? Because if you like football, like me, being Brazilian, of course, I remember one team of superstars in the last World Cup that everybody said, ah, these guys will go to the final. But look at what happened. They didn't win a single match. They didn't even qualify through the first round. So a team of superstars, but they, they were not working together. So we at Atlassian, we read lots of books and we try to investigate you know, which of these books tell us the secret formula for uh, teamwork. Everybody's trying to find a secret formula. There is no secret formula, we know that. But there are some ingredients in this formula that we see that happen time and again that will help teams work together. So the question here is what is the proportion all of these ingredients that we should we should try and, and find out to make the teams work better. Now, Atlassian doesn't have the answer for everything. We don't. But we can try and help to make it as effective as possible. So, let me try and show you how. We believe that there are three things. Three things that make great teams work together. Organized work, 
discuss your work, and of course, do your work so that you have accomplished what, what you need to accomplish. Now, let's look at uh, each one of them, but before that, we, we know that in reality, it's not that easy, right? When we work together, things start getting complicated and that line gets very, very uh, complex. So what we try to do with our solutions, with our products, is straighten that line so as to make it easier for everybody. So if we take a look at um, each one of these stages, starting with organized work, the um, first thing is uh, you guys, some of you, most of you, must be developers, right? So we recognize this sort of a workflow. Uh, I'm not a developer, but I use this workflow for my daily tasks. I start with my to-do list, then I move into progress, and then I review to make sure everything is going fine, and then finally, you know, we accomplish that. Yes, but what would be then the time that you need to spend on every step of this workflow? It should be something like that, right? You have your to-do list, shouldn't be too big. The progress is where you should spend most of your time, and then you review, and you're done. Ha ha. Reality is not quite like that. <laughs> it's more like that, right? You have your to-do list, you know, and uh, oh yeah, well, I don't have the time for that. Um, progress, well, forget progress, review, no, not even a, done. And well, so that creates a problem, right? It creates a not update problem. So again, for you guys as developers, you know that. Developers, what you want to do? You want to develop. You want to work on your code. And you don't want anyone knocking on, um, on your shoulders and saying, hey, uh, when are you finished? I, I need to test, or uh, how, how's it going? It's, it goes like, hey, come on, let me code, right? So what is the, uh, the solution for that? The solution for that, don't update. Just don't update. Uh, that's the time when you ask me, hey, Vlad, are you crazy? What do you mean, don't update? Well, I'm not saying don't update, period. I'm saying don't update yourself. Let someone else do that for you. Or let our robot, our assistant in Jira, do that for you. Um, great, but how do I track my changes? Well, think about it. If you use Jira, right? Your code is being tracked by, by, by Jira. Your tickets have been um, uh, uh, tracked by Jira. Then your code is in a um, uh, bit bucket or stash. And last but not least, if you use Bamboo, your builds and your quality will be, will be tracked. I'm not sure if I'm in front of you. So um, it's all there. You don't have to worry about that. And this is how it works. So let's suppose you are working with your, um, on your to-do list, right on your code. And then what you do, you commit. You just commit, and the assistant, the Jira assistant, will then move it to in progress automatically. You don't have to, to worry about that. Now, you go to the next step. You pull a request. It moves again. And finally, when you merge, it's done. So, yeah, it's not really a robot, right? It's, it's actually a script, but we like to think it's, it's a, a little robot that works with you and helps you. So, <clears throat> again, the same question you might ask me, yeah, fine, but you are not a developer, your workflow must be very simple, because it's just a basic task, but my workflow is very, very complex, it doesn't look like that. I appreciate that, we understand that, but it doesn't matter for Jira. What does matter is that every step of the way on your uh, development life cycle, that's what the, the robot, the script, needs, and it will move the tasks and will update your tasks automatically. Right, so that's um, one part of the story that we were telling. So this is the organized work. So basically it helps you get better visibility, you know, and be more productive. That's one idea of how, to, how teams can work together. Now, moving to the next step would be, you know, uh, discuss work. So, I believe we are all the same here, right? When we have a problem, when we're looking for specific information, what we do? We go to Google. Google is the answer for everything. Maybe here you have another one, right? The Yandex or, or any other search, search engine. 
But when you have an internal issue, for, which belongs to your company, probably Google won't help you much, will it? So what you do, you go to IT support, as an example. So we uh, don't listen whenever the Wi-Fi is not working, my mouse uh, is, is working, I need batteries. We go to our IT support. And what we do? Well, we used to do that. Hey, James, can you help me? Or uh, we call or we send an email. That means a lot of disruption and, and different platforms to communicate with our IT support. With Atlassian, as we introduced last year, Actually, two, two years ago, when we first introduced it, we introduced Jira Service Desk. Uh -huh. I knew the battery was about to die. Uh, let's do that. Yes. Jira Service Desk is a platform that will help the teams communicate through one platform, one single platform, and eliminate the emailing and telephoning and everything. So here's an example of what happened inside Atlassian that we experienced recently and how we use Jira Service Desk to help. Um, what, what, what you saw there in the, in the first um, uh, screen was that the Agile tab of, uh, of our Jira instance had disappeared completely. So um, uh, our, our engineer who was working with, with it, he said, okay, let me uh, create a ticket in um, Jira Service Desk. And this is the, this is the uh, first portal that, that you see. Now, um, Jira Service Desk incorporates confluence questions. So when you type a question or, or an issue that you have, there is a list of potential cases that have already been answered. So maybe you don't need to even open a ticket. But in this case, it wasn't there, so we had to open it. Great, we did that. Jira Agile tab is missing in the HR instance. And sure enough, our IT support started getting the same sort of tickets through Jira Service Desk with the same issue. So it was a company-wide issue. It was just, wasn't just one person experiencing it. So what we, did we do? We opened a, a ticket in Jira to investigate it. Right. Now, um, one of our engineers took a quick look at it and thought, hmm, wow, okay, I think it has to do with the Jira Agile plugin, which sits at top of Jira, that is not behaving well. Why don't we restart it? You know, usually people think about that, restarting, restarting the computer. In this case, it wasn't different. So yeah, we, we did that, and it solved the issue. Did it really? Well, we had to investigate it further, right? Because it may have solved the issue now, but why, what if it happens again? So we, need, we needed to, uh, to take a, a closer look at that, and another engineer then opened an, another ticket for the development to take a look at it and see what could be fixed there. So in a nutshell, in six minutes, there were four engineers involved in it, and we solved the underlying issue, and we solved now, hopefully, the, the core issue of that. Great, so that was one platform that we used, and it prevented, you know, uh, the emailing, telephoning, and things like that. Um, what am I now? Then we close the, the, the ticket. Of course, it's as easy as that. And then we communicate, of course, the people who open the ticket in service desk. All that in a matter of minutes. Great. So that helps a lot because if you think about it, every team in your company will need help from someone. So in your company, you have. Customers, as such, if you if you if you will, and those companies will support them. So, with Jira Service Desk, it's so easy to create a service desk platform that it's spread it out across Atlassian very quickly. We now have Jira Service Desk for um, our legal team. Instead of again calling the legal team, hey, I need a, a contract to be reviewed, just create a ticket. And we also created um, a platform for a marketing team. If I need um, t-shirts to bring to an event or anything. We also have some other examples of our foundation and many other examples that we use, Jira Service Desk. Right, so again, so we're talking about discussing work and how our solutions can help the teams discuss work and, and be more effective.
But, there's always a but. What if you need help now? You cannot wait six minutes. It's an emergency. You need to communicate. You need answers. HipChat. Does anyone use HipChat here? One, two, okay, great. Well, you should take a look at HipChat. So HipChat is a relatively new product to Atlassian, and it's the ultimate um, collaboration tool, which is real-time information. So what does it do for, for you? you? You can discuss anything within um, HipChat. So the beautiful thing about HipChat is that it creates rooms where you can get the people that know about that subject. So we use it every day. <coughs> In fact, HipChat has changed my professional life because I use um, email a lot less than I used to. With HipChat, we can create rooms like we have our experts team uh, room, we have the marketing uh, room, we have the finance room, we have the yoga room. Anyone going to yoga? Yes, I'm joining you. So it's no need to phone, discuss, uh, send email, it's just quite there. Now in this case, it's a, a built engineering uh, room in which um, you, know, you get answers from the experts who know that particular topic. So it's, it's very practical because you can then get all the people involved to answer the question that, that you're asking. There is also uh, a way to put automated uh, bots, an, another sort of robot, into HipChat so that every time there is a restart in Bamboo, in this case, you get an, a notification. Um, a colleague of mine from the marketing department, he um, implemented a sort of robot um, to monitor the uh, traffic on a new marketing page that we have created. So anytime someone logs into that page, he gets a, not a notification. It's not distracting because it's quite there in, in, his, uh, in, his, in his rooms, and he looks at it when he needs it. So he sees on a daily basis how many, um, how many uh, accesses to that page have been. So this is something that we can do with HipChat. You can send files, we can have um, conference calls in video, we can uh, have uh, normal calls, we can have discussions, and it's very, very practical, interactive, and again, makes communications real-time, very easy to use, and the beautiful thing about that, the integration, it integrates with Jira, with Confluence, with all our solutions, and you can create your own um, integration as well. Cool. So that's HipChat, and that's another chapter in the, in the process. I think the battery is really about to... Oh, by the way, the best news. If you still don't use HipChat because you thought, oh, it's only in the cloud and uh, my company doesn't uh, allow that, it's outside of the country, now HipChat is available on server. You can install it on your own machine. Right, so we talked about discussing work, and the next one will be do work. See if, uh, yeah. Right. Now, the software developer way of getting things done, right? You, get, you guys know that much better than I do. Someone starts coding, someone starts having the ideas, you have to discuss with the team, you have to collaborate, you have to share. Normal. Now, anyone has any idea what is the number one tool for collaborating on content? Any guess? No. Partners. Which one? <laughs> whiteboard. Did you say what? Whiteboard. 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 That's a good one. What? Almost. It's actually word. <laughs> Come on, really? Do you believe that? Word. Yeah. Sounds so uh, 90s, right? But yeah, it's true. It's still it's still the most used uh, collaboration tool. Um, that's not very practical, is it? Because that's what happens. You probably know that, you know, you know I, need, I added the comments in context and then things start, let me move. Ah, he's got a battery, yeah, life savior. Okay, so whilst we discuss that, so you get the idea, right? It's only getting worse and worse as we move because, you know, how can you collaborate with, uh, with words? And um, there, there's also a question that comes up to me very, uh, very often is that, uh, okay, what about 
Google Docs, right? I could use that. Yes, you can. Of course, it's still Word, Excel, and others. You can. If all you need is to um, store that information in Word or Excel and share it across, fine. But if you need um, a more robust collaboration solution that integrates, <laughs> that integrates with, um, with Jira, with Confluence, with all the tools that you already have and more, well, then, then it's something else. And you see? Oh, great, Anton. That doesn't work at all now. Oh, I gotta say that. Right, I still need to uh, come closer. Right, so we've covered this one. So Confluence, it's one place, it's the ultimate collaboration solution, right? So let me show you something again that um, happened uh, in Atlassian. We've been preparing a, a series of events called the Road Trip. And for those of you who watched the TAD last year in Moscow, I spoke exactly about what we're going to see here, which is inline comments. Right, so we created a page. Great. So uh, my colleagues, um, Rudy, created a page and started um, asking for Opinions, collaboration. Hey guys, can you take a look at it, please? Great. So Ken logs in and watch the page. And what what does he do? He wants to make a comment. Usually, if you know Confluence, you would go all the way down and write a comment there. Beautiful. It works great. But we thought we could do it better. So what we do? He selects a text that he wants to highlight, that he wants to discuss, and he does. He right clicks on it and the add inline comment comes up. So, whenever it works, yeah. <laughs> boom. <laughs> no, it's refusing to work, my god. Talking about collaboration and technology, right? <laughs> All right, it seems that I will have to go there and click the button. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, all right. So, um, so he said, yeah, I do, I do like the headline. Can I have a, a better one? So I'll see this one. Thank you. <laughs> it's a matter of that one. Teamwork, you know? So he, he um, had mentioned Sven, another of our colleagues, to say, hey, what, what do you think about that? And Sven then goes and logs in. Oh, and he makes a, a, yet another comment there and the same, same story. So, should we mention beer? Yeah, what is Atlassian party without beer? Now, Sven logs in, takes a look at the page, sees that there are two comments because it's highlighted, and starts answering. And here are my suggestions, so, so, so. So you get the idea, right? Rather than writing down the comments, waiting for it, you can actually you know, discuss this in line and be a lot more proactive and productive, hopefully. So you like it, don't like it. So Rudy comes in and said, ah, okay, I like, I like that first suggestion. That was a great one. Fantastic. Now let's resolve the issue and close it so we don't see it anymore because the page has not been. The same goes for the space is limited. Shall we mention beer? No, because everybody expects beer anyways. What should we mention about that? It's, it's a normal thing in an Atlassian culture. And we resolve that one as well. So, <coughs> this one is inline comments, makes it a lot more contextual and collaborative. But there is another one, a very cool one, that we also discussed last year and we implemented. This is all already implemented. The next one is um, file collaboration. So, what is file collaboration about? Let's see if that works. Yeah. Um, right, this is a little movie here, let's see how fast, how far we can go. Basically, with Confluence in the beginning, um, the files, the pictures that you attach to a page were not very nice, they were not very sexy in terms of quality and, in, and the, the collaboration with it. So what we did now with the latest version of Confluence, we introduced the, um, the capability, the feature of working with versioning of different files and making sure that you can comment not only on the inline comments but inside the file itself. So here's an example. We've been creating a project that is called uh, Teams in Space. Did the movie stop? Yeah, it did. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, things are not going so well today. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, okay, right. All right, so let, let, let me tell you what happens since the movie, apologies for that. Um, what happens is that if you have, say, a picture of, um, of, of a project that you want to do, like that one on, on, the, on the phone, and you show it to your team, the team says, hmm, I don't like that, it's too, too much white space, or I don't like the color, I don't like the font. But instead of commenting on the page, you can comment inside the file, inside the picture, with a little balloon saying, hey, this is, this is not so good. So you, who created the page, you can take a look at it. Ah, right, yes, I agree. So let me change this. I change it, I load up a new version, and we can compare the versions. We did that uh, for a project with a, a keynote presentation. So I created the first draft, sent to my team. My team said, ah, um, Vlad, I think this could be better, or I don't like this slide, why, why don't you add this one? All inside the keynote. I said, ah, great, okay. So I started working on it. Very collaborative. Very beautiful, working with, with versions, and it is uh, a lot more productive. Hey, it works now. Right, so here we are, improving teamwork. We've covered the um, um, discuss work, um, collaborate, right, and, um, and finally get it done. Now, people believe that what you need in order to have that is a super employee, an employee that knows everything. Right, it knows all the, uh, the tasks and, and topics that you need in your company. It's not quite like that. Because, you know, even if you have a team of superstars, we see what happened with, uh, with Spain during the World Cup. Yeah. Funny that it should work sometimes, and not every time. Hey, yeah, super. One more, please. Okay, yeah. And another one, please. <laughs> Great. So, the idea is this, right? That you have all your team together, and with those three aspects there, we at Atlassian, with our products, we can support you. See? Yeah. Right. Super employee is actually the team. So, the team should be a superstar, not each one of us. Cool. So we discussed a lot of things, we talked about the robot. I didn't talk about the release hub, which is another feature of Jira 6.4. I'll leave that for you to discover. So take a look at our um, documentation or um, just download uh, 6.4 and you will see. Um, Jira Portfolio was another one that I, I wish I had had the time to discuss with you. It's a very, uh, um, a very powerful new um, plugin to, to Jira that adds the PPM capabilities to Jira. So please take a look at that too. That again empowers teams a lot. And <laughs> right, well, keep on clicking at Jira Service Desk. Um, we discussed another one. Right, there we are. And uh, file collaboration. Great, so uh, this sort of concludes it. Um, I think I have one more slide that I wanted to show you, just in case you can still make it. Yes. In beautiful Prague, we'll have Atlas Camp this year on June 9th to June 11th. Um, it's uh, uh, an Atlassian event for developers, so that's uh, your opportunity to meet with uh, product managers. It's your opportunity if you are developing a plugin of you. Uh, if you really want to know all uh, about the plugins that we are developing and all the people are developing, come to Atlas Camp and it will be a great event. All right, thank you so much. Apologies for the technical aspects, but with great teamwork, we've accomplished that. Thank you.